In this video, I'll be talking about how to write the first affirmative constructive speech in policy debate, also known as the 1AC. So at the beginning of every debate round, the affirmative team will always speak first, and they will read the 1AC. Yes, the 1AC is a prescripted speech that comes at the beginning of every debate round. So the affirmative uh, team under their 1AC will present a plan and provide advantages for their plan to try to persuade the judge to vote for it. And the first affirmative speech should incorporate the following, but not necessarily in this order. So a plan must have a plan text. And a plan text is basically what the affirmative team is trying to do. And so it's pretty self-explanatory. It's essentially the plan. So an example here under the 2014-2015 um, debate topic would be the U.S. federal government should establish offshore wind turbines off the coast of California. So that's basically what this plan is going to do, and it's not that hard to understand. And second, um, could be, but doesn't have to be inherency. Inherency is basically the current status of the status quo, which is basically which basically means um, what is happening now. So in your inherency argument, you have to prove that your plan isn't isn't happening in the status quo right now, because if it is, we don't need it. So you must have strong hearts that back it up and say that your plan is completely original and completely new and it hasn't happened before. And next is solvency. This is basically evidence that says your plan is going to work. And it's essentially how the affirmative uh, it's essentially how the affirmative says their plan will solve for the needs of the future. So another example for um, solvency would be offshore wind turbines will provide substantial renewable energy for decades. So we need strong solvency cards to back up um, our concepts that say um, whatever plan you're going to do is going to work. And after inherency and solvency usually comes advantages. Advantages are pretty self-explanatory. They are the advantages to your affirmative plan, which is basically saying uh, um, this good thing is going to happen if we do our plan. So an example would be advantage one is global warming. If we do offer a win, we will reduce fossil fuel dependence, leading to a reduction in global warming. And you can have multiple advantages. However, in each advantage, you must have a strong link. A link is basically saying that your plan is going to uh, um, link into the advantages. Your plan is going to do the advantages that you claim it's going to do. And within these advantages, you must always have impacts. Impacts are basically saying that if we don't do the plan, blank will happen. And blank is usually a bad thing. So for example, continuing with the offshore wind example, if we don't do offshore wind, the world will suffer from energy poverty and global war will break out. So you need cards that specifically link um, your advantages into this impact. So you need cards that uh, that say, if we don't do offshore wind, then energy poverty and global war will break out. And um, some, some teams can put their um, inherency and solvency after their advantages, so it doesn't really matter um, how you put it. And so it's, so it's actually pretty simple. So um, going over everything, I gave a pretty brief and concise an explanation of what should be included in the 1AC. We need a plan text, which is basically what the affirmative team is going to do with their plan. And this is essential, or else the, ne the negative team won't know what you're actually trying to do. And second, an inherency. Inherency is basically saying, oh, our plan is not happening right now, and this is happening right now. So our plan is going to fix whatever is happening right now in the status quo. And solvency is basically... Um, evidence that says how your plan is going to solve, how your plan is going to work, how your plan is feasible. And finally, advantages. Advantages are pretty self-explanatory. Um, they say that um, if we do our plan, these good things are going to happen. And under advantages, we need strong links that link into the impacts and link into other things. And impacts are basically bad things that will happen unless we do the affirmative plan. So in conclusion, I feel like that's a pretty concise, pretty short way of summarizing how the 1AC should work, and I hope this helped a lot. Thank you.